What's up you guys, Tutorials for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to mask out videos in Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro. Alright, so before you do anything, you're going to want to go to this website, http homepage.mac.com forward slash Tom Henderson forward slash bezier mat forward slash and what you want to do is scroll down I was having trouble with this too I couldn't really find the link you have to scroll down and what you want to do is go down to uh, 50 point bezier mat 2 dot zip or 50 point bezier mat um, dot sit and so after you do that then that's pretty much it that's all you have to do and so now after you download it you just um, go into your downloads, and you can see that 50 point bezier mat is right here. So you want now you want you want to do is go into Finder, and you want to go um just search it 50 point bezier mat. And so once you see it, then you want to simply um double click it. It's loading. And after you double click it, you want to copy it. And after you copy it, you want to go to MacBook Pro HD. And you want to go into um, li uh, library. Then you want to go into application support. And now you want to go into Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro. And now you want to go into plugins and simply paste it. And so after you paste it, then it'll be right there. That's it. That's all you have to do. And so now, this is where the fun stuff happens. So now you want to go into Final Cut Express. And what you want to do is grab, um, you, you should have two videos. One video of you standing somewhere, and then another video of you standing somewhere else. So that it'll look like you want to clone yourself, or something like that. Something where you need to mask out a video. So what you want to do is put a video, you want to put the main video over this other video right here so as you can see I have two videos on top of each other and so th that I'm putting two videos on top of each other so that if I mask out the top video then you'll be able to see the bottom video under it okay so now what you want to do is you want to double click um, this top video so that it shows up into your viewer you want to click on filters um, you want to click point one right here after you scroll down in filters point one and this should and this um, is the 50 point bezier mat that you just downloaded. It should automatically come up. There shouldn't be any problems. Click this crosshair right here, and just go over the canvas. And you want to just drag 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 this first point over your person so that you'll be able to, you'll be able to mask it out. And so now you want to just keep doing the same with point two. And you want to just drag this around your character. Or your person. And the same with point three. Excuse me. And after you do point two, then you're gonna have to click activate since if you wanna um do the other points. And so after you click after you click the checkbox and you click um you click the cross here for point three, you wanna just align it so that it goes around your character. After you do the three points, you wanna scroll all the way back up. And you want to go, um, excuse me, uh, oh, okay, click, um, check mark, um, show mask. So you want to just click that. And this will make it easier. So you, now you can see that the video under it, and now you can see this little space right here is the video over it that we're editing right now. And so now you want to go back to where you started, and you want to just keep, um, putting, uh, you want to keep putting um, points around your character so that eventually um, you'll be able to see the whole character. Now you have a lot of points that you have to work with. I think there's about uh, 50 or more. So you should be able to do this without any trouble. And now you just keep doing it. And I'll come back after I'm done. Alright you guys, so now as you can see that I finished um, keyframing or putting the points around my character. And so now, after you um, after you render your video, you'll see that you have the clone effect. And so, if you want to do um, some other like little tweaks and stuff to have like you punching your clone, um, something like that, then you would have to keyframe it. 
and by key by keyframing it would be um dragging this little yellow arrowhead just dragging it further down the timeline and once you see that um the person coming into um the person the um this person right here that you just keyed out once you see um the original person coming to come into his path then you're going to have to adjust accordingly so um whoops. so as you can see right here you can see how my arm is going across my face then what you can do is you just um find the keyframes that those are so let's say that they were um frame i think it's like the last frame so you want to just click you want to you this is like mandatory right here to click this keyframe button if you don't click it then it's just going to mess up mess um your whole video up so you must click that to let the to let the application know that it's just for that um just for that and beyond um not for that and like the whole video so you want to you have to click this little circle button the keyframe button click this crosshair and then you would just adjust it so that it would look like the arm is going through his face something like that and so after you keep adjusting it you'll notice how the arm just eventually goes across his face um i have a little um i have a little video it's nothing it's really it's nothing to be all like crazy about but this is something i was just working with when i this is my first video that i did with this um felt with the new filter I just um that I just downloaded. So um I'm just gonna show you it. I believe it's in Finder Documents Movies Fuck Express. Alright, so this is something I just did. And so it's basically th this is a final product after I was keyframing. And so this is what I got. I know, like I know, it's like the camera quality is really bad. But if you take it down to each keyframe, you can see how. I I don't know. Um, it depends on your camera. Like if you're shooting at like 60 frames per second, you're probably not gonna have this problem. I was shooting at a low shutter speed. That's why I keep having these little glitches. But as you can see, I keep I actually keyframed my arm going into my clone right there. You can see my arm right here. How I keyframed it out. Nothing professional. I was just messing around with it. And you could see how my arm right here. You can see how I keyframed that out. You know, and you could just mess with this. You can make some really cool videos though. And I really encourage you and just upload them to YouTube so we can just see them. And if you have any videos that you made with this um this um filter, then you just um like send me a video or something so I can see it. I don't know something cool. And so thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to um get other um to get more videos from me. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.